Good morning, afternoon, or evening, my lovely yoga ATXers. My name is Echo. Welcome to your practice with me. So this short practice is going to be a full body practice. And the idea that I have today for you to chew on as we move through the practice, if your mind needs something to chew on, then let it be this. Uh, and your breath, of course, is that a lot of times what we want is not what we need. And so when we tune in online and we go to a yoga class and we, we really want to just get, uh, we want to start breathing quickly and we want to get nice toned legs and a toned stomach. Yoga is so much more than that, but that's a whole different discussion. But what I encourage you, if you tend to be somebody that is hyper aroused and you move quickly and you speak quickly and you produce and you consume and you're ambitious and driven, maybe what you need to do is a practice that's a little bit slower, that things take a little bit more time. And for those of you that are a bit more earthy and a little bit slow, maybe a bit lethargic where it's hard to get yourself moving, then it might be really good to do a more rigid, very intense, fast paced practice that will help you get the energetic um, body moving and alive. So we're going to practice with the polarities today in this, uh, in this short flow. And so we'll begin to move quickly at the beginning to get the heartbeat going, and then we'll slow it down. And so just notice where the mind goes when this happens. If it's like, yeah, 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 fast, 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 or yeah, 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 slow, slow, slow. Or if there's a frustration when you want to go fast uh, and we're moving slow, is there a frustration? If we're going slow and you want to go fast, is there a frustration? And allow yourself to just be fully present. Be here, notice what comes up for you today and start to tune into what you need, not what you want. Okay. So that being said, we will start out a little bit more in a quicker pace and we're going to start standing at the front of the mat. So as we stand at the front of the mat, ground down through the feet, take the feet hip width distance apart, let the shoulders relax down the back, palms shining forward. I invite you into my little cabana here in the mountains in Mexico. And let's begin to breathe and move together, everything moving in and out of the nostrils and breath. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, reach. And exhale, heart. And this time, inhale, reach up. Exhale, bow down, bend the knees and the hips back, fingertips to the earth. Inhale, come up halfway, hands to shins. Exhale, plant the hands, step back, plank position. Take an inhale here. Exhale, bend the knees, bring them down to the ground, chest to the ground. Inhale, forward onto the belly, open the chest, look forward. Exhale, hips to heels, tuck the toes, press back downward facing dog. Two breaths. Sometimes it feels good to sigh it out of the mouth. Inhale, bend into the knees. Exhale, float or step forward to the hands. Inhale, come up halfway, hands to shins, flat back. Exhale, fold down. Inhale, rise to standing, reach up. And exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, reach. And exhale, bow down. Inhale up halfway. Exhale, plant the hands, step back to plank position. This time, lower halfway, elbows in by the ribs. Inhale, forward to the tops of the feet. Open your hearts. Keep the thighs lifted. Exhale, press back and up, downward facing dog. Just one breath. Inhale, bend the knees. Exhale, float or step forward. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise to standing, reach up. Exhale, hands to heart. 
Notice your breath and heart rate here. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, bow down. Inhale, up halfway. Exhale, plant the hand, step back to plank, lower to knees and chest or halfway chaturanga. Inhale, forward to upward facing dog or cobra. And exhale, downward facing dog. One breath in. Inhale, bend the knees. Exhale, step or float forward. Inhale, up halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise to standing, reach up. And exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, reach up. And exhale, bow down. Inhale, up halfway. Exhale, plant the hand, step the right foot to the back of the mat. Keep the left or the right knee lifted. Keep the right hand planted, left arm stretches up. Inhale. Take another inhale. And an exhale. Inhale, press to the left foot. Lift the chest up, twisting open to the left. Pull the left hand back, right hand forward. Sink into the left knee. Take an inhale. And exhale, hands to the earth, step forward, fold. Inhale up halfway. And exhale, fold. Step the left foot to the back of the mat. Left hand stays planted, right arm reaching up, twist open. Can feel the heartbeat moving. Take another inhale, press through the right foot, lift up into your twist, right arm back, left hand forward. Take an inhale. Exhale, hands to the earth. Step back, lower halfway to knees and chest. Inhale, forward to cobra or upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Two breaths here, sigh it out. So notice if the mind is liking the speed or wants to slow down. Challenge yourself to just be here. Inhale, bend the knees. Exhale, step or float forward. Inhale up halfway. And exhale, fold. Inhale, rise to standing, reach up. And exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, reach up. Big toes come together, sink the hips, bend the knees, chair pose, Ukatasana. So building some heat in the thighs now, we begin to slow down. So we're staying a little bit longer in each position, but see the strength that it takes to slow down. So stay deep in the seat, pull the belly in, let your shoulders relax down the back. Take an inhale, and exhale, fold forward. Inhale up halfway, exhale, plant the hands, step back to a plank position, pause here. Slight rounding of the upper back, pull your belly in, press through the palms into the earth. Building that heat now in the core, stay here. Again, find your focal point down and a bit forward. Building heat and resistance and strength when we slow down. Take another inhale. Exhale to knees and chest or halfway chaturanga. Inhale forward onto the belly or tops the feet, open the heart space. Exhale, hips to heels, 
Press back, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the right leg up behind you. Pause here. Press down through the palms, down through the left heel. Take an inhale. And exhale, knee to nose. Pause. Inhale, lift the right leg back. Exhale, knee to right elbow. Pause. Inhale, lift. Exhale, knee to left elbow. Pause. Inhale, lift. Exhale, step the right foot through and reach the arms up. High lunge. Sink into the right knee. Pull the belly in. Bring your shoulder blades down the back. And again, we sink in. So staying for a bit of time. Notice how the stillness settles into the body and the mind. Sink deeper. Take an inhale. Exhale, open twist to the right. Right hand down the back, left thigh, left arm stretching up and over. So we've been here before, just adding in a little bit. Take an inhale. Exhale, hands to the earth. Step back to plank. Lower halfway or to knees and chest. Inhale, find your back bend. And exhale, downward facing dog. One breath in, one sigh out. Inhale, lift the left leg up. Pause here. Take an inhale, exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, lift, exhale, knee to left elbow, pause. Inhale, lift, exhale, knee to right elbow, pause. Inhale, lift, exhale, step the left foot through, reach the arms up, high lunge. Sink into the stillness, sink deep into the left knee. Find your focal point forward, relax the muscles in your face. Inhale. Exhale, twist open to the left, left hand down the back thigh, right arm stretching up and over. Take an inhale. Exhale, hands to the earth. Step back to plank, lower halfway or to knees and chest. Inhale, find your back bend. And exhale, downward. Facing dog. Sink the knees down to the earth, nice and wide. Bring the hips to the heels. Child's pose. So we pause here. This is our moment of integration. Focus in on the breath. Focus in on the mental fluctuations of the mind. How does it feel when we slow down or when we speed up? Peel the chest up, walk the hands over towards the right, folding over the right thigh, press the left hip back. And come back through center, lift the chest, walk over towards the left, press the right hip back. And in a world that is constantly telling us what to do, what means strength, what means beauty, it's time for us to really make decisions based on what we need. 
Do we need more? Do we need less? Do we need speed? Do we need slowness? Do we need activity or stillness? Come back through center. Slowly walk the hands back towards the body. <clears throat> and come to standing on the knees. Tuck the toes under, even the little toes. Sink back onto the heels. <clears throat> and take the arms up overhead and grab opposite elbows. Open the heart space. You can let the head lean back into the forearms. We won't have to do a big opening of the back bend, but just to your edge. If you want to stay more upright in the spine, that's fine. If you want to look up towards the sky or the ceiling to open the heart space a bit more, this is also welcome. Lift the arms up, straighten the back. Make fists with the hands up overhead and begin to flick the fingers forward. So we're just waking up energy in the toes and in the fingers and all the digits, getting the energy pumping through the body from the beginning to the end. Get faster and faster with your flicks. It's going to be tough. You're going to feel heat in the wrist. Stay with it for five, four, three, two, and one. Come up on the knees, untuck the toes. Come forward into tabletop and just pat the feet out. Mm, get the energy moving. Sit back onto the heels, bring the fingers back behind you, lift the knees. And just rocking slightly back and forth, cold weather. And when I sleep, always does this to my throat because I sleep with my mouth wide open like a little goldfish <laughs> and so I wake up with a sore throat. Let's come forward here onto the knees. Tuck the toes back under you. Bring the hands around the hips. Open the heart space and maybe this is as far as you go today. We're coming into Ustrasana so opening up the heart here. Camel pose. Look up. Take an inhale. And on the exhale, stay here, maybe slightly bringing the head back or bring hands towards the heels, lifting the heart towards the ceiling, looking up or forward, whatever is best for your neck, or letting the head drop back. Three breaths. And slowly coming up. Inhale. Very good. And come back to the heels. Bring the feet out in front of you. Stretch both arms forward like you're holding a big platter in front of you. Take an inhale. And on the exhale, slowly, slowly engage through the core. Take your time. So this is a, this is a hard one. Look forward. Take as long as you can to come all the way down onto the back. Ah, Shavasana. So we're not here for too long. I encourage you to pause the video if you'd like and stay in a nice long Shavasana or do any last poses that you might need to close out your practice. But I invite you to really be here in this moment, present to the stability, the structure of the earth beneath you, the back of the heart space. Let the breath become natural. Relax the brow and the jawline. Let the eyes sit quietly, tenderly behind the closed eyelids. And in this world, we spend so much time with our eyes open, looking outside of ourselves for what it is that we can give to ourselves. So here, give yourself peace. Give yourself love and connection, ease, stillness. Two more breaths. You can sigh it out if you'd like. In 
inhale, stretch the arms up overhead, legs nice and long, and pull the knees into the chest and falling over to the side. Using the tricep as a pillow here for a moment, fetal position, and feel the side of the heart on the rib cage here lying on the ground. So again, tuning into the stability of the earth beneath you. Use the hands to assist you up to a seat, sitting up nice and tall. And just taking some last moments of stillness. Let the body come into stillness if it's fidgeting. Let the palms shine up. Bring hands together at heart center, bowing head to heart. The slowness, the activity, the ambition, the restfulness, all exist right here within. We are our own polarity. So I invite you to get to know your poles very well, your masculine, feminine, your lunar, your solar, your active, your restful nature. And begin to tune into the calibration of your own being. What is it that you need today? Namaste. <sighs> Namaste, dear yogis. Thank you for being here for yourself today and supporting us as a growing channel. Feel free to subscribe to stay in contact and to get all the latest videos and practices with us each day. And all my socials are down below, my own personal YouTube channel and website. If you want to practice with me online or somewhere in the world, I invite you to get into connection. Sending you lots of love. Mwah.